Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So what we're doing today is the UC right above my awning there, awning my slide out. It's got that worn out little rain gutter. Um, one full speed on each end, same with on this one and on that end. Now that end's missing the plastic 100% because I'm trying to start this video twice now. They sent me the wrong um, equipment to do it. So we're going to replace them today. Um, tools needed. Ladder. Of course, gloves. Your new spouts. Silicone. Um, whatever you want to use. A drill, an impact, um, and a number two square tip. I'm gonna get everything placed in. I'll come back to you. All right. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Um, I have the camera flipped around so you guys can see what I'm fixing to do. So what we're gonna do is get my gloves put on first. We are going to pull this screw out here. Now there was a piece of plastic behind it. Um, again, I've already pulled it off before I realized that they sent me the wrong piece. Again, super easy. Put the square in there, back in the out, just like so. Um, and you want to get your rain gutter. Make sure you get the right one. That is not the right one. Here's the right one. <clears throat> again, super simple, nothing hard. This goes up underneath there, like so. Now, I've already said that I'm going to use some silicone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a dab of silicone on both sides of it. And the reason that I do this is because I just, I feel better if it's there. And I want to make sure that the area that has the screw going through it gets silicone up. I don't want any kind of issues to happen because of that. So it's got a little dab here on the inside or on the outside. And then on this side, like I said, nothing spectacular, nothing hard. Put the screw back in there. I'm sorry if you guys are hearing a bunch of wind. I live in the Texas Panhandle. I slide it right up in there. But what I'm gonna do is pull just a little bit, not hard, just a little bit to try to help keep some of the silicone on it. It's in there. I'm gonna drill back and forward. Screw there. Now see it's gonna turn. Hold it where it needs to be. There we go. Simple as that. Um, now I gotta do the other side. And I will probably bring y'all along for that one too. Um, if it works out well enough, I'm gonna do it for all of them. I'll bring y'all out for all of them. What this does is it catches the rainwater like a regular gutter and it keeps it from running down the side here. And what ends up happening if you run down the side is erosion, um, for lack of better words. It'll run down, run down, run down. I don't know what you guys can see would hit that lip there and eventually cause the uh, silicone to fail. So this is just added protection. Um, these get old and they get brittle and they get hot. And uh, so I'm replacing all of them. I've already placed on all four corners. Next one will be over there. It actually has the plastic behind it. Um, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna turn y'all off for right now and uh, I'll bring y'all back when I get to the other side. And we are back We're on the other side now. I see this one actually has that little bit of plastic back here I was telling you all about. Again, nothing major though. Try not to drop your screw because it'll just make you mad when you have to get down and get it. I guess try not to drop your drill either that probably be a bad day so now this is going to be stuck just a little bit 
but generally just kind of move them around a little bit <clears throat> with this brittle and it'll come out. May plop a little bit on it. Might actually have to, I'll have to go get a, something to pry on it with a little bit. There we go, it's coming down. Just had my big, the gloves are too big for my fingers to fit in there. Here's a piece of the old one, drop it down. Not just like we did the other side. Take our silicone. There we go. Open it up. Up there. I hate the most about silicones. It gets everywhere. It gets everywhere. Again, a little on each side. I'm not putting a whole bunch. Just a little bit. And uh, put the screw back into this thing. I do that so it doesn't dry out. Other than the roof, you don't want to use this kind of silicone on the roof to actually sell a certain silicone that's actually rated for it. But uh, slides up underneath it just like the other side. Take the drill, screw, change it. Hold it in place. Boom, done. Now, uh, make sure that while you're climbing up and down and all this other stuff, there's cables that pull your slide out in and out. Make sure you don't unhook one and unhook the other side on accident. Just wanna make sure it's all left in there. I am going to, see this one's brittle, you guys have seen it. Doesn't take anything, just snap it right off. I'm gonna slide that out and put my stuff on top of it and I'll bring you guys back for that one. All right, now we're back. This side's gonna be a little bit different. I mean, some, I think it'll go the same way, but the slide out a lot further, so I have to slide it out because I parked next to a fence and then slide it back in to the other side, slide it back out. Pull the screw out. See, that screw's all rusted. It's uh, somewhat concerning. That means it's letting water in, which is the whole reason why I said that I put silicone on there because silicone is going to help it not do that. Now, <clears throat> that screw may be a little far gone. I don't know. If it is, then we'll stop the video and I'll go get another one, but I think it'll be okay. Silicone both sides. While you're doing this, while you're up here, it's a good time to check out your seals and everything, your rubber seals. Make sure they're still in good, good condition, good working order. Um, that's what keeps um, water from getting inside of your camper and stuff, so I recommend keeping a good eye on them. Pull us out just a little bit, flap it up in there, just like so. Screw may have been wrong, it may actually just be the self tapping end of it. We'll see. But there we go. She's in there, and uh, there's silicone right up here, but there's a little bit missing in that little spot right there. So I'm gonna, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna put a, a little dab right up in here just to make sure it doesn't. A little dab turned into a 
a little bit of a mess, but that's all right. Close enough for the government, so. All right, let me uh, take everything down and I'll bring it back on the next side. And we're on the other side now. This is the last side we'll do. Sorry for my kids in the background. Uh, back this one out, just like all the other ones. That one, pull out just a little bit. Try to help get this one out. Now, all the way down it, if you look, um, silicone's in good condition and all that, so don't need to replace it. Just that little bit on that one end needs to be replaced. So, all right. So, we're going to take the last one we have here, this one right here, just like the other ones. Nothing's changed, it's all the same screw out of my silicone here again a little silicone on each side Need a little bit more on that side than I want that's all right only make a mess right so again as I plug on uh, most of my videos, and I'm gonna to try to from now on, plug it. Um, look up TR Bolin. Um, he has a YouTube channel, very smart guy. He goes anything from your sewage to rebuilding campers. Um, helped me on my, um, on my converter and everything. Super smart guy, super great guy. Um, look him up, again, it's TR Bowling. It should be in the description. Um, generally I'll upload this video and it takes a while so I start it and I let it go then I'll come back to it later so if you watch it before it's in the description it will be in the description later same thing pull it out just a little bit go right up underneath there the main thing you don't want to have happen is your silicone to block it you want your water to be able to run or to flow freely so there's a little bit kind of got right there. Take my screw there and just move it down. And it's fine, 100% fine. It's all working good. Put it back in the forward. It's the last screw. That one actually went in a lot better than all the other ones. So that's all four rain gutters. I wish I had a thought about this before I put the other ones on the corner of the camper, but I didn't. But that's all of them. Silicone in, screwed in. Again, all this is going to do is going to keep the water from running down the side of your camper and cause any kind of erosion on your silicone on the sides. It pushes it out away a little bit. Thank y'all. Like and subscribe if you want to. Subscribe to your dad's channel if you want.